All right, the good news is uh, part of the tornado watch is canceled. The bad news is it's still in effect until 9 o'clock tonight. Tangipaho Parish to the east and Jefferson Parish to the east. We still have rain and storms on the North Shore and that flood advisory for the Metro, but that's likely going to be canceled as some of that rain has in fact dissipated. Here is a look at our WDSU first warning radar and yeah, we are not done yet. So you really have to look off to the Southwest. You can see more activity. The good news is not as intense as it was earlier. So let's go up here on the North Shore. Here is a look at that rain and you can see very heavy right there at Covington, also by Bush. Every now and then we're seeing a little bit of a hook. You know the tornado watch is in effect. So should you hear that threatening sound of the freight train, get to the interior portion of your home, get away from the windows. Then we want to look off to the east over here by the Kill Bay St. Louis. Wait, you've got a little bit of a bow echo right in there. Let me just point it out to you. So here it is. It's this area right in here. It's moving to the east. So be aware, Bay St. Louis, that wind is going to be blowing. Then we just want to look at that bigger picture. Here's some more rain off to the southwest, but I'm beginning to see a downtrend. So that is great news. Want to point out the temperatures, kind of interesting. There is a little bit of a weak front. The main front still off to the west, but it's moved into the north shore. There your temperatures are actually in the mid 60s. So here is a look at the big picture. There the tornado watch that's in effect until nine o'clock tonight. We still have that flood advisory for the metro, but that flood warning up in Washington Parish is canceled. Here's the main front that's moving to the east, but we do have a little boundary that's just moved into the north shore. So 74 degrees at the airport, the wind south southwest at 16. Then you look up here to the north shore, Baton Rouge and to Bogalusa, you are in the mid 60s and look, you're picking up a north wind. So that's another little weak boundary that's nearby. You can see the onshore flow, and that was one of the ingredients for that risk for tornadoes today. Strong south wind. Then you look aloft, and let me tell you, that wind was blowing out of the west. That creates a spin in the atmosphere. But look at how the storms are kind of following this upper level wind. And you look off to the west, and we're not seeing so much anymore. So that's that's great news. At the airport, an inch of rain over at the lakefront, two-thirds of an inch of rain. Forecast models saying, you know, you could get another two-tenths to a half an inch over in Clifton. I had a report of three inches of rain, so some of us did get some locally heavy rain. We're looking at Covington. Notice 8 o'clock, you still have rain, but your rain chances are going down after that. Even in the metro through 10 o'clock, 40% chance, but after that, your rain chances go down. Homa, about a 40% chance early, then rain chances go down. Here is a look at your WDSU first warning weather. Good news, tomorrow during the day, you're fine. Cloudy, cool, or breezy. Lose an hour of sleep. Hello, daylight saving time, but Sunday looks great. Next Friday, rain chances, and you know what? Next weekend may be wet, too. Ugh, I know. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Margaret.